Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to flash Reborn OS, which is a Arch Linux distro on the Mikrotronics R58X from 2022. So it's connected with a USB A cable to my laptop and it's in the USB C port. And I also extracted the Arcade Dev Tool version 296. So now you see it says found one ADB device. So this is a little bit of a tricky part. So you can see this tiny button between those USB ports. This one you press and keep it pressed and then you give the other one just a little tap while still keeping the first one pressed. So let's see if we can do this. Yes, and then And then we can release. And now you can see it says found one loader device. And according to the instructions, you can do load config and then choose the EMMC config. Okay. And you have to select write by address. And now here we need to find the SPL loader file. And then we need to select the image. So we're good to go, then you press run and once it's done then I'll come back. So that just took like a minute or two, something like that. It says download image OK. So now I'm going to connect the Mikrotronics R58X to the monitor. And once I've set things up, then I'll be back. So as you can see, Reborn OS started on the Mikrotronics. And we will do the online install. So let's see, I'll go with English. And that's okay. Time zone Amsterdam. And I'll go with US keyboard, Euro on five. And let's see. Well, let's just try also KDE Plasma and GNOME. And Yeah, let's try both Xorg and Wayland.
just use or install all the audio well I don't need VPN for now Bluetooth is not critical printing is not critical mm, let's see well EX fat is always handy and I also like UDF tools so I think that's okay for now um, I think Let's go with LibreOffice still, the stable branch. Well, I guess that should be okay. And I mean, later on I can always install some other stuff. Okay, so we start the setup. That's going to take a while, so I'll pause it and come back once it's finished. So that took several minutes, but we're ready with the installation and we can restart the system. So you can see that we have several options for our desktop environment. Um, yeah, I don't see Plasma on Wayland. So if I wanted to choose Wayland, then we have to go with GNOME. So let's try that. And we're, we've successfully installed Reborn OS on the Mikrotronics R58X. So I will play some more with this. Um, I'm going to stop with this video for now, but I'm really happy that we can install something like Reborn OS on the Mikrotronics R58X. And hopefully in the future, let's just say, um, yeah, by the end of this year, perhaps that we get mainline support then I'd love to see where Reborn OS will have taken us with the Mikrotronics devices. As I said, I will explore this a bit more, but this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.